lots of lightning with this and also heavy amounts of rainfall. We need the rain, but when you get this within a short period of time, that's where we get those major flooding concerns. You guys said it perfectly, the night and day difference between last year and today, and I'm happy to say that the weather is just going to be gorgeous out there today for all of the events and for also the cleanup still going on and just regular activities, going to school and work out there. Now, as we go through the rest of the day today, we could see a few thunderstorms pop up, but mainly staying dry today. Now this, this is for Friday. This map right here, slight risk for all of the areas in yellow by the Storm Prediction Center. Moderate risk in red, which does clip Coleman County, Winston County, Marion. So we need to keep an eye on this area right here and keep an eye on our forecast for Friday. Look at how much damage those winds, about 60, 70 miles per hour, they come through and they can create a lot of damage there. Also, a lot of water and a lot of lightning. It was amazing the amount of lightning. Look at this video. We have um, lightning strikes causing the power outages as well as uh, we have a just a lot and it's very dangerous. Lightning is a very dangerous thing. So what I've been telling everyone is just basically wait these storms out. As a meteorologist, you consider yourself that protector, that person who is responsible for the reason we spent the countless hours, the reason that I was up, you know, working as long as the hours as I was is for rent losing their lives. This is right along I-20 where we're seeing several supercells that are tornadic right now. I think that each time that I deal with, you know, a tornado where I know that that tornado is on the ground, it's going to affect me much more dramatically for a while in regards to what kind of it, what it's going to do, you know, because I'm going to go to the worst case scenario, which was April 27th. This morning, meteorologist Kaylee Dion shows us the dangers of waiting. We see what the tornado leaves behind. We see the tornado, the the outer part of it, the actual picture of it. But you, I mean, unless you are in a dangerous spot, normally don't get inside of a tornado and go at the speeds that winds can get up to. But today, that's going to change for me. I'm going to ride in a race car at Barber Motor Sports Park. I'll be traveling at speeds comparable to nature's fury. You'll be out there and you'll probably go 150 miles an hour and you'll feel the acceleration, you'll feel the braking and you'll feel all the forces. 150 miles per hour is wind speeds of an EF3 tornado. We had eight EF3 tornadoes last April 27th and this past January, an EF3 tornado left the center point in clay areas in ruin. As a race car driver, to me, going faster creates more downforce and so I know how powerful that force of air is. Imagine it hitting your house or to be outside of it is very scary. to going that fast, going up to 150 miles per hour, my whole entire body, I was trying to lean forward, but my head would be thrown backward because of that force. There's no way just doing that, that somebody would be able to dodge anything coming up at them at that speed. That's, you cannot think that way. And it's dangerous. It was dangerous before to me because I preach this every day, but it's even more dangerous to me now being at that speed. Just don't, just don't mess with it. Take cover great advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it, it really puts it in perspective when you're going that fast. I'm not talking about just the wind itself. I'm talking about what it picks up, the debris right. that's going that fast and you're standing still and that's going to hit you at that speed. If you are at home right now and you're awake and you're feeling frozen yogurt because it's good for you, come to Yogurt Mountain in Cahaba Village. Free yogurt till 8 o'clock in the morning and you can hang out with us. Exciting stuff. Um, don't show my cookie dough in there, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to eat it before, Scott. I was supposed to eat it before you show people that. Take a look at your forecast here this morning, and we're looking at the watches and warnings through the entire nation here. We have advisories, wind advisories stretching from central Alabama through north Mississippi and up the Mississippi River into the Ohio River Valley. Severe thunderstorm watch painted in yellow here, and even some severe thunderstorm warnings moving through the St. Louis metro area because of very large hail with some of these storms this morning. Here's the cold front stretching back into Oklahoma and Texas. The low is just to the 
west of St. Louis, and we have storms firing up along and north of this warm front. We also have a few thunderstorms firing up here within North Alabama, North Mississippi, and also into Tennessee this morning. These are not severe, so if you are in Winston County, if you are in Coleman County this morning or Marion have heard some of these thunderstorms, no worries, no severe. Don't need to worry about that right now, but we do need to worry about later on today, and we're watching this area right here in Central and North Mississippi for the potential for supercell development later on this afternoon and moving into a Lamar, a Fayette, Walker, up through and into Marion and Winston, Coleman counties, along and north of I-20 as we go into the afternoon. Then the entire area is under the gun for severe weather as the squall line pushes through. Storm Prediction Center has us in the moderate risk if you're along and north of I-20, slight risk for the rest of the viewing area. We could see all modes of severe weather here today, damaging winds, hail, isolated tornadoes as we go through the day. I still think all of the uh, the stronger, longer track tornadoes will stay to our north, but if you're traveling northbound, you need to keep aware of this, and we all just need to be on alert today, and this entire CBS 42 weather team is going to be there for you today and keep you as well informed as that you can be. Also, do your part by having your weather radio and making sure you're talking with your family and friends and knowing what you should do. Here's timing as we go through into the evening. Here's the line of storms that will be right ahead of that cold front, 11 o'clock in the evening hours, then moving into Saturday morning. Overall, Saturday will be a great day. We'll start to clear out those clouds later on in the evening and into the afternoon, but we have to get through the bumpy overnight first. Temperatures today, 78 degrees, dropping to 63. For Saturday, good news. Let's end with the good news here. As we get past the showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning, 24 hours from now, we'll start a very dry next several days. Moving into the beginning of next week, Monday and Tuesday, we will see beautiful weather and that will continue all the way through at least the end of next week. Weather. Good morning. Let's take a look at our forecast here as we've had a uh, beautiful weather here in the southeast. But if you look off to our west in the southern plains, showers and thunderstorms still lingering after yesterday afternoon. We saw several uh, stronger thunderstorms, even tornado touched town near the Sharon, Oklahoma area. If we zoom in here, another chance for severe weather as this short wave slowly pushes in our direction. Now we will see this move in overnight tonight not going to be any chance of severe weather. So don't worry about that. We have very limited moisture to work with. Now, in regards to the chance for rain, our extreme northern portion of the state, Clipping Marion, Coleman County, also Winston County, Etowah County, even Blunt County, some of these areas will see a chance for the isolated shower if we can squeeze out just enough moisture as this pushes through. But overall, we're going to stay dry. What's really going to happen, though, the main focus after this front pushes through is the temperature because right now we're already seeing it cooling down quite a bit, but we're going to see temperatures cool down even more as we head into tomorrow morning and then even tomorrow afternoon, you'll really feel it. 48 degrees in Huntsville right now, 50 in Birmingham as well as Montgomery here this morning, zooming it in anywhere from the low 40s to the low 50s for the entire area. Let's look at the seven day forecast because look at Wednesday, Thursday. This is what I'm talking about with those temperatures. Temperatures drop about 10 degrees from this afternoon to Wednesday afternoon, and then they'll struggle to get out of the 60s again on Thursday. But then what I really want you to see here is the overnight lows. 42 degrees as we start off tomorrow morning, dropping into the upper 30s. Yes, upper 30s. Some of us will see some frost in the north and ports portions of the area as we go into Thursday morning. So plan ahead. If you have your plants outside, you need to make sure you take care of that. If we widen it out, though, quickly rebound. Very quickly, we bounce back up into the upper 70s, low 80s for the weekend. Very sad. They have to clean up all of that rubble, but uh, um, you know, luckily we in our area didn't get any of that backlash mm -hmm. from the Midwest, which we thought mm -hmm. that you know we would get some stronger winds in our area. Kaylee's warning though that we're now looking forward to yeah. what could come in tomorrow night you into know, Saturday morning. And we need to think about I'll keep them in your prayers just because we know what it feels mm -hmm. like here to go through something like that. And now as we move forward into Friday, not only are we under the bullseye, but those same areas that were affected yesterday mm -hmm. are under the bullseye for again severe weather. So let's get to our forecast here on Titan 3D radar showing you what 
what's going on with this system now. We have snow up in the New England states. We have rainfall broken up as those storms have really broken up overnight. We also have rain just to the south of us now and moving through and into central Georgia this morning. Let's zoom down so you can see that. Here's right along in south of Interstate 20 in central Georgia, just south of Atlanta. And then we also have just to the north of Interstate 85, Chilton County, Coosa County, those areas dealing with the southern fringes of rainfall this morning. So if you're heading south on I-65, just south of Clanton, you might run into a few showers. Nothing crazy, no thunderstorms out there, just light showers. Now, as we go through the rest of the day today, we could see a few thunderstorms pop up, but mainly staying dry today. Now, this, this is for Friday, this map right here. Slight risk for all of the areas in yellow by the Storm Prediction Center. Moderate risk in red, which does clip Coleman County, Winston County, Marion. So we need to keep an eye on this area right here and keep an eye on our forecast for Friday. Friday night into the overnight hours into Saturday morning. This is our time frame for Central Alabama. So it is very imperative that you have your weather radios ready and also have them programmed. We will keep you up to date. We are watching this. We've been watching this for the last couple days, but still you need to do your preparations to keep your family uh, safe from the severe weather as we go through into the next uh, couple of days. Here's the timeline through today. You see the rain just skirting right to the south of us. Then the clouds continue to lift as that warm front now lifts to the north through the afternoon and into Friday morning. Then Friday morning, we will see a few light showers for Coleman, Arley, Gadsden heading into the afternoon, now moving into Hamilton area. And then this will all start to form as a squall line and have a few thunderstorms that will develop out to the front of this. So showers and thunderstorms will develop as early as the afternoon. Then this is overnight right along Interstate I-2059, 1 a.m. in the morning. So this is overnight hours. That's why it's so important to say weather radios because that will wake you up. The outside sirens will not wake you up. So don't wait for those. Then you can get all of your information from us here at CBS 42. The entire CBS 42 weather team will be on top of this as we go into Saturday morning. But this is 4 o'clock in the morning hours. Alex City, Wadawi, Ashland all seeing that this rain is pushing out of the way. So most of the day on Saturday will be an overall great day, but we will have those bumpy storms overnight and into the early morning hours. Temperature gradient this morning and see where that cold front lies and the temperatures in Hamilton. 47 compared to 63 in the Birmingham area and then as you go farther to the south and east in Goodwater 68. Next three days temperatures will be uh, well above normal uh, in the upper 70s through Friday. Once that storm system pushes through though temperatures will drop to the low 60s. That's where we should be for the beginning of March as we head into this is March 1st the first day of meteorological spring and the next few months are going to be bumpy with these severe weather chances so please take Take heed of this warning in advance and get ready for that.